little bit better than we're going. Anytime I go out looking for cash, I uh, practice up and I finish off with an unknown target or a blind test. And then I go out and uh, search for my cash. So I'll show you how I do that. Since I'm searching for 90% silver, silver coin, that's what I have here. I have some silver coin, I have some Indian head, coppers, I have some V nickels, buffalo nickels, a good variety of coins uh, and a good, a good amount to use as my target. So I can tune my instrument up and then we'll get started on this hunt. Okay. Now I'm trying to chew my target up. What I want it to do is I want to come into my target and I want to come back and I want it to, to bite onto it, to hold onto it. So I want it to go in like this. When it hits and I move my arm to the right, I want it to come back towards the target. So I'll use my tuner here. Move it to two. Got my sensitivity at three. We're going to go to five. Okay, now we're getting the action that I'm looking for. As you can see right now, I'm going from right to left. And that's all I'm going to do right now is right to left. And you can see that it's staying on the target. I may take it to six to get a little bit more sensitive. Let's see. Nope. I'm going to go back to five. Sweep the instrument. And now the instrument locks on to the target. The area of interest is right here. You get out to a spot where you want to you want to scan, you want to see if you can pick a pick a signal up, see if you can get something going, get a direction. Because that's what the instrument's going to do. It's going to give you a direction. That's what it's built to do. So I'll take my sweep and you can, you can see there's nothing happening. In that 60 degree scan that I'm putting down, I'm going to go over this direction here and scan. There's still nothing. A couple bumps, but nothing. All right, so we're going to have to move uh, closer in order to get this instrument to react. Make sure that you have a good vehicle, four wheel drive would help. Well, it's dry, it's not necessary. Your balancing meter, right here, your indicator. When you sweep the instrument, as you'll notice, it's a little bit off, it doesn't hurt it. There's the hit. Same place as we had the original hit. Come back around again to hit. And this is our area of search, going right through there, right through the tree. And that's where you want to start your search, going out through there with your metal detector. Now, when you get the area of uh, interest out there, you want to get those detectors on the ground, give yourself at least a 30, maybe even a 40, in this particular instance because of the woods, a uh, 40-foot uh, circle uh, to operate in. You're searching for a cache. And if, if that cache is there, uh, you want to make sure that you have the best shot at it. If you uh, don't get it when you first get in there, <clears throat> step back, redo your lines again. Make sure that you got everything going into the area of interest. You're getting into the area. Your scope's bringing in there. It keeps hitting there. If you have to, take um, four, five, six different hits going into the area. You know where that action is at. Well, then you get in there and and try to get that that uh, target out of there. Got it? Yeah. That's a yeah. good hit. I locked in good. 
Yeah, that locked right back in. That went just the way it's supposed to. Yep. See that instrument locking in? Oop. Whoop, got a good hit. There it is. All right, why don't you come on up here and take a second crack at it. Okay. Hooked on. Something's there. Yeah, that's settling. Yep. There's Mike taking his third, his third hit. There it is. It's good, strong. Wow. We get two good lines of bearing right there. You got Hopefully it, buddy. I think you're on it. Yeah. All right. You give me some uh you give me some area to hunt out. I'm gonna hunt your area out. That would be right in here. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get it there. Can't tell you where it's at, but because I don't know. But I mean I'll have to work it. Yeah, at least you can I mean, there's some places you should be able to get a detector in there. I mean, it's, it's not going to be thick, thick but yeah. yeah, I might be able to get it in there, yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, guys, that's for another day. Out of here. Going to let it pull tree. in. Near that tree, anyways. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that's. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Pretty powerful. Boom, there it did. All right, stopped. you got it? Stop that, yeah. All right, let's take her up the road here. Let me take her a second shot at it. Oh, it's pulling nice. Pulling, pulling really good right here. Yeah, it is. So All right, so he took his second shot. Well, why don't you go on up the hill a little bit about 100 foot gyms, see if you get a third angle on it. Is that where you had it? Or you uh, yeah, it's about the same area. Mike was a little higher, he's a little higher up. And I was right in the same area you're at, just about, I mean, just. You know, Mike might be a little closer than us. Who knows? You know, or yeah. because well, you got to put at least a 40, 50 foot area that you're going to search anyhow. You know that. All right. All right. Right there. All right. We're going to get in this this piece of woods here. See if we can find this target. But I wanted to take one last sweep. It's the second day, and uh, now we're going to go after it. Got our detectors. Got our gear. We're getting ready to go. Going in after it. Okay. Hey. Jimmy's gonna pull it out just to show you. He said, uh, "Be the copper." Uh, coming in strong? Right there. All right. Boom. I'll let you hit it with your detection. Give me a try. Too much 77. I even got it on film. All right. Let me let me get in there first. Coming up about 77, guys. I think I... Oh, I do. I do now. Yep, there's a jar or a bottle or something. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Tom found the cash. I think we think. We think. We think. Let's step back, Jim. 
Now, here's what I would do. And I believe me, you think this is easy, just try it one time. You know why it's still hitting? Oh. You put more than one down. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you fooled you, didn't you? Yeah, here I thought. You didn't think it was going to be anything. Well, I thought it was hitting the. I know. Now I got that back here. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. No. Get it? Yeah. Get here and get it, buddy. Get the detector. Get it and get it. Finish this son of a gun off. I'm going to tell you a story. Uh, Jimmy's searching. I have another hit in here. I'll tell you a story. Uh, old fella told Jimmy. He, uh, his father had a, had a, uh, collection. And, uh, of coins. And he, uh, him and his father got in an argument. He stole some of the coins, or robbed, took took the coins, ran out in the woods, and buried them. Right, Jimmy? That guy, that kid, he buried them, those coins in, out in the woods, behind the house. Yeah. And, uh, same situation here. And, uh, he, he ended up going into service, and he never got back to the area for about 50 years, and he went to look for him. He never found him. He didn't use a metal detector or anything, because he didn't know much about it. But he told Jimmy, he said, those coins are still there because... He, he hunted for him, but he couldn't find him. And, uh, and this is the same situation. Same, in other words, when I go out to practice, I like to have the same situation as the, something I'm gonna go searching for. There's things that when people or, or treasure hunters are out hunting, they don't realize, well, you don't know where it's at. It's not easy. <laughs> I mean, I, mean, I you know, we, we got the general area. We pinned it down with the with the 301. And uh, I'm pretty experienced at this, but it's still one of my uh, sweeps with a little bit off. Well, we got something. We got something. Right here. Oh, yeah. You want me to Go ahead, Jimmy. It's all yours, buddy. I got mine. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope this is it. <laughs> well, it's something. Yeah. I hope there it is. All right. Come around this side. All right. Yeah. You got it. Right there. You got it. <laughs> As they say, <laughs> cha ching, cha ching. Very good, Jerry. Very good. Well, good job. Especially when you swept back in there. You know what I mean? You weren't expecting well, to find anything. I thought I was hitting the, your machine. I know. I, I was hitting right, right here. You're right on the money. You're right on the money. Exactly on the money. You know, the 301. The point is, no, it's not a perfect machine, right, Jimmy? No. It's, not, it's like anything no. else. We got a little off. Jimmy and I, Mike hit it almost right on the money. Uh, we're in an area, you know, we made the area uh, about the size of a football field, for example. But we probably conquered this. I don't know how long we've been here. How much time is it now? Hour. No, maybe not even. Not that, because we had to drive here, Cunker. That's uh, right. Maybe a half hour. 40. Maybe, okay, so it's five after two, so. Uh, one, yeah, two maybe a half, half hour. 30 minutes, maybe. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. We wrapped this thing up, and all this is a test. Those our equipment's working. We found it's working. It's been down a while now. It's not like you. That's yours, Jim. I got mine. Uh, we're going to get out of here, but I want to tell you something. Uh, 
That 301 will do the job if you, you stick with it. It will hit the silver. I'm convinced. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, we, would, we worked the area and Tom had the first one. I know I hit it from over here, then I hit it from up there. I was, I was just where, where Mike was, was uh, hit, you know what I mean? Which was just a little bit up from where we are, but I think it's right on the line coming in. See that line when where that first, tree's at? When we first yep. started, yep. it was there. Yep. The second yep. one was here, but yep. then I was down farther. The yep, that time. big tree so, down there, that's, that's yep. our straight hit in. Yeah, very good, oh very good. All right, we're going to wrap it up. And uh, Eastern treasure hunter. Yeah, that's right. And uh, I'll tell you what, if you get a 301, you're going to, I think you're going to pleasantly be surprised. It's not a miracle machine, but it will hit the silver, silver if the silver's out there and it's buried in the grass. Okay, let's wrap it up, Jimmy. <laughs> good job. Oh, we got to show our treasure, don't we? Let's show it. Let's go up. Let's go up here. We'll go up here. Get out of here. See that we were hitting the target. There we are. That's what was in there. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, yeah, there's a load of silver in there. Sure there is. I can't find it. Oh, there it is. There's silver. Got a lost silver dollar. There's some <laughs> clads, <some> coppers. <laughs> All right, well, let's look at Jimmy's. See what Jimmy got. Matter of fact, let me put that right there. Whew. Yeah, well, you get in there, people think it's easy. Tell you, you get in there, right, Jimmy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when so you get in there and you start. Yeah. It's Jimmy. You're the... There's Jimmy. You got some silver, uh, some silver bracelets. Yeah. Yeah. Holy jumper. Yeah. So where did that sucker hit out? <laughs> so anyway, you could do it with with a digital 301 if you if it's there. It's got to be there. That's the number one thing. And I tell you, it was a lot of fun though, wasn't it, Jim? Yes. I can't hardly stand it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hardly stand it. Yeah. You take a picture. Go ahead, take a picture, buddy. Take a video. Oh, you take a video. Oh, wow. I don't blame you. I'd be proud, too. I mean, hey, that's not easy to do. That's not easy to do.